Oh, hey everybody. I'm out on the track this morning getting my exercise in, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I'm tired. <clears throat> For some reason, my hips hurt. And uh, I'm, I got other aches in other places. So honestly, I don't want to be here. And uh, But here's what I know. <clears throat> a part of healthy leadership is your physical health. If you want to be a healthy leader in every way, you're, you're spiritually, emotionally, mentally, you want to be a healthy leader, then you've got to pay attention to your physical health. Because your physical health, there's a tie to your physical health and all those others, your spiritual, emotional, mental health. If your physical health is down, guess what? It pulls the others down because you don't have the energy, you don't have the focus. So I think uh, I would love to see more pastors, more leaders prioritize physical health and recognize the attachment it has to the other aspects of your health. I think you'd be a, a, a better leader all around if you take care of your physical health. And here's what I've learned. I don't want to be out here today, right? I don't want to be out here. But my physical discipline is not tied, is not determined by what I feel that day. It's predetermined by what I want to be in the future. And so <clears throat> I remember when I was in Dallas Seminary, I was sitting in class one day and Dr. Hendricks looked at us and said, gentlemen, do you want me to teach you how to extend your ministry by 15 years? And I was like, yeah, yeah. You know, I grabbed my pen. I was so excited, ready to take notes. He looked at us and said, eat right and exercise every day. <laughs> I put my pen down. I was 30 something. I thought he was ridiculous. Now at 59 years old, I see the truth of it. I wish I would have started a whole lot earlier than, uh, than I did. So, hey, a couple of things. If, uh, if you don't have the motivation, you know, you're not, you don't have the discipline, just a couple challenges. Number one, find your motivation. Find your motivation. Don't let your motivation be muscles. <laughs> let your motivation be kingdom and uh, increased impact. That's why I do, this is why I do it. And, uh, and then the second thing, you know, know your motivation. Second thing, look at your future. Look at your future. I, I, tell, uh, I tell Cindy all the time, I'm gonna go do this, not for me, not for me today. I'm doing this for 80 year old Mac. I want 80 year old Mac to say, hey, thank you 59 year old Mac for doing that when you did. I know you didn't feel like it, but man, it paid off for, for me as an 80 year old. So <clears throat> look, to your, look to your future. Third thing I'd say, set a goal, set a goal. Just a, if it's maybe for you, it's a one day goal. Today I'm gonna walk two miles or today I'm gonna walk one block or today I'm gonna drink eight cups of water, whatever, but start with something, have a goal and a one week goal or one day goal, whatever. Baby steps, start with baby steps and uh, eventually uh, you'll get there. All right, hope that's helpful. Hope it inspires you on a Friday afternoon.